Hi, I'm Tim Carter. I know this is a kind of a strange video. I, I'm in the bathroom at the Glass House Inn in my motel room in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm on my way to my high school reunion in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I love staying here. It's a motel that was built in the 1950s, a very quintessential, cool motel, but I want to explain something to you about ceramic tile and how it was installed years ago. Take a look at this. So this is the tile shower, you know, for the bathtub and, you know, typical, you know, you, you've seen these a hundred times, right? A thousand times. Maybe the one of your house is like this. But what you don't realize is the way that this was constructed. And they have wainscoting, you know, that goes around, you know, the bathroom. Here's the toilet. So the way that the ceramic tile guys put this in, and bear with me here. So imagine this room with all just wall studs, you know, regular two by fours or two by sixes, whatever they used. And what happens is in this area, right behind where the tile is, the ceramic tile man came in and he nailed up expanded wire lath. And this is a wire mesh that is got like a diamond pattern. And he nailed it to the studs. He cut it, cut it around everything, put it everywhere. You know, he did not put it here up, up on this wall. You know, he, he probably ran it just about halfway up to where that bullnose tile is. Anyway, then he mixed up some sand and cement and he kind of skim coated the diamond coat to get some of the mortar to fill some of those holes on this diamond coat material, uh, diamond cutout. And then he came back the next day and mixed up Portland cement and coarse sand, and he floated it onto the walls and made it perfectly plumb. I mean, look at these corners here. Look how the tile is consistently the same size up and down. You don't see it getting narrower or bigger. Uh, these guys knew exactly how to do it. They put wood strips in and they screeded it. And these walls, all three walls were perfectly plumb and smooth. And then on the third day, that he came back, mixed up Portland cement with fine sand, and that was, you know, the original thin set, and he set these tiles in that, you know, in that mixture. And it was really critical that he come back the day after he had put that mud coat on here so that the thin set got a really good bond to the, um, you know, to the to the concrete that was basically underneath, uh, you know, that, that, that was all smooth and plumb and whatever else. You don't want to wait a long time. And that's why this tile, <laughs> it's now 2021, has been up, what, almost 70 years, no failure. It's not going to fail. This is not going to come down. It's only going to come down when the excavator comes here and tears this building down uh, once the people give up and they no longer have this wonderful motel. So there you have it. Uh, you still might be able to find some really great craftsmen around who can, um, you know, who can still do ceramic tile this way. I, I rehabbed an apartment building in Cincinnati back in the 70s, and we did it that way. And it um, takes a little bit extra work, more labor involved. It's a lot harder than just nailing up cement board. But the advantage is, is that the, the craftsman, if he does it right, the surface that the tile goes on is perfectly plumb, perfectly smooth, and the tile ends up perfectly smooth. And that's really what you want, and that's what it looks like behind me. I mean, this tile is a beautiful, beautiful installation. So that's how tile was done years ago. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com in Erie, Pennsylvania, on my way to Cincinnati, Ohio. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.